uh, welcome to the Hellfire Theater. I'm Anna Otto, and today I'll be showing you around the set for our production of To Kill a Mockingbird, which is our KCACTF competition piece this year. Can't wait to show you around. All right, so right away, um, we have this little garden area. This is Miss Maudie's house. Um, she, you know, she's one of the neighbors. She's one of the Finch's neighbors. Uh, so she doesn't have, have an actual house. She just has the little garden to represent her home. Um, and then off in the distance, we have the tree right there. That's supposed to be the tree where Boo Bradley hides all of the little gum and trinkets and things that uh, uh, Scout finds as the show goes on. So then we have here Miss Stephanie's house, which is another one of the Finch's neighbors. Uh, she's one of the older, more gossipy neighbors. Um, we can come on up if you want to take a look. So a lot of Marquette students, uh, mostly theater majors, a couple of engineering students as well, really helped to put this set together and bring it to life. As you can see, it's really just a flat. <laughs> Nothing going on in the back. We'll get to that later. That's actually where the courtroom is. But yeah, so this is where Miss Stephanie lives. Uh, she's a neighbor. Uh, we have a lot of nighttime scenes that go on here too, so sometimes the light gets turned on. Uh, yeah. So as you kind of come around, you can see that there's a lot of trees and branches and things that a lot of students worked on to create um, kind of a picture frame for the show. Uh, this show was actually designed by a professional. This is the Finch's house. Uh, so this is where Atticus and Scout and Jem live. Um, yeah. And this one is a little more uh, going on because if you go inside, you can see that they had to put in a little bit of a background because people do come in and out of here so often and it is a screen door so people from the audience can see inside and so that helps to you know keep up the illusion a little bit more that it is a real house <laughs> you come around we also have a tire swing on the side i don't know if you want to check that out at all um that comes off of here a lot i don't want to take it off because i don't reset it i don't want to put it back um so that comes off a lot and the kids play on it a lot during the show um yeah. courtroom it's kind of dark you can't really see it but it's over here that's where the big court scene happens um with tom and the yule family causes a lot of drama as we already know <laughs> Here we have another little garden. This is supposed to be like the Finch's backyard. And this is really exciting because actually, if you just want to step over to that side real quick, this is where Dill comes out at the top of the show. And I think that's real cool. <laughs> this is also where a lot of the post action of the courtroom scene happens. Um, a lot of drama set up between Bob Yule and Atticus goes on right over here. Um, we actually turn around Miss Stephanie's house to form the courtroom and then in front of the Finch's house they put up all of the chairs and things to create the courtroom which is really cool. Um, so this is the back then and this is the door to get into the courtroom instead of the Finch's house and then on the other side you have like I said the actual courtroom. You just pull this door open and it's kind of small up here, but um, we have the kids kneeling down so there's a blanket there so they don't hurt their knees. Um, then you get a nice view of the whole house down there and you get a nice view of the courtroom um, as though we were the kids watching the show, or watching the uh, case, excuse me. And um, yeah, and then we have some benches up here for people to sit down, but I believe most of the cast stays standing for those scenes up here. Mm -hmm. This is the front of the jail where they have Tom Robinson stay as he's waiting to go into trial. And this is an important part of the set because Atticus sits outside while an angry mob comes and tries to kill Tom. So that's a big point for the story as well. Um, so usually we have like a chair sitting out here and this lamp turns on. And we have Michael who's playing Atticus sitting out here reading a book. This is where the stage manager sits. The stage manager has to sit near the middle so they can see everything that's going on on stage at all times um, so that if something gets messed up or they jump ahead or they jump behind, they have a clear view of what to do. They can call the next cue. They can call the next lights. Um, they can make sure that everything goes into place just in case somebody down on stage would mess up. Well, that concludes our tour of the To Kill a Mockingbird set here at the Hellfire Theater. Uh, once again, I'm Anna Otto. Thank you for joining us.